Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here and I use the Dream Street palette from Kathleen Lights and I also have a palette that I'm going to be giving away soon. Not right now, but I'm going to be giving away soon in a future giveaway because I did buy two. You know I gotta support my girl Kathleen Lights. So I did buy two and if you like this tutorial, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more updates and yeah thumbs up subscribe check okay now let's go ahead and get to the video so first i am going to use a transition shade and i'm going to be using the color twinkle and it is basically one of the lightest shades in the palette that's why i'm gonna use it here as a transition shade so basically, I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid, and I love this palette. First of all, I love Kathleen, and I love ColourPop, and I think that she did an amazing job with this palette. The colors are really pigmented, and if you haven't already bought this palette, I suggest that you order it. Then I'm going to use the color Water Bearer, and this is another favorite color because it's like an orange shade so then I went ahead and used a smaller brush to apply that on my crease so once I made sure that it was really blended I went ahead and used the color Mooney and I'm going to put that on my outer eye just to give it a more smoky look. I'm then going to put on some concealer to make a halo eye and for this color I'm going to be using shooting star to place it right in the middle and then after that um, I'm going to use my finger and just place it on my eyelid um, just in that little area and then I'll be going over with more colors, basically the same colors that I already used. And I'm going to be just blending it in so that it can look better and, you know, blended. Because you don't want your eyeshadow to not be blended. It does not look good. So I thought I would add a little bit more of Mooney onto the outer edges of my eye for a more smoky look and I thought that it looked really good like that. So to finish off the eyes I'm going to be applying that same those same shadows under my eye and then I'm going to be using the lip liner stone by MAC and I'm just going to be outlining my lips with this color I want it to go with the more like natural look um, just because the you know your eyeshadow already looks a little bit bold and you know this color just matched really good plus I wanted to use Atole from the I Love Sarai collection and I'm putting this as a gloss on top of the color stone and this is basically it if you want to know how I did my face makeup I will have a link down below so that you can do that but thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye love you xoxo um i ended up adding a wing 
because I feel like it needed one. Um, in my tutorial, it doesn't have a wing, but I feel like the wing just made it 10 times better. So I did film the wing. Sorry, I didn't show it in the video, but yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? The wing or no? Havana, ooh, na, na. Half of my heart is in Havana, ooh, na, na. Back to East Atlanta, na, na, na. Ooh.